This video is going to be an update of a previous video I did in 2020 comparing Dipstado and HoneyBook because some things have changed and I think it's important to stay as up to date as possible. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer. And I love to teach people how to run successful creative businesses. I get a lot of questions on what systems that I use to run my business, work with clients, manage my projects, etc. So I want to show you Dipsado and HoneyBook because these are two of the most popular systems in our industry and really have so many wonderful features. I fully believe that you should have a client management system if you're working with clients. I also believe that you have to decide which one is right for you based on the features in interface that you prefer. I do have videos diving further into some of these features on the rest of my client management playlist. So check it out while you're here. And I do have a discount code for both of these systems that I'll put in the description, depending on which one you decide to try out. You can also try out both of them. They both offer a free trial. So check them out. Let us know which one you like better and what questions you have about using HoneyBook and Dubsado. So I'll start with the interface of Dubsado. When you log in, you kind of have a little bit of reporting telling you how you're doing for the year, some of your tasks that you need to do, and your calendar and project overview. I don't have a lot in here because this is just my demo account. Then most of the time I spend here on this projects tab where I have each of my projects laid out, and then I can click into one of these projects and see all of the information for that project, invoices, forms, appointments, workflows, tasks, and then notes that are not client facing. On this projects page, you can customize these buckets up here. So you could have a bunch of different stages for your pipeline of working on the project. On this page, you can also move them between that and you can also see things like your invoice or contract or where you're at in your workflow, which is really helpful. You can also view everything in a calendar mode if that's important to your workflow. You also have a bunch of tasks that you can do and then your templates are going to be where you can create things like forms that you send to people or canned emails which are any email templates that you create that you send um, as part of your workflow with these people. So that's a basic Dubsado interface. Let's switch over to HoneyBook. When you log in, you're seeing a very similar view, although it's a little bit different. So you have your projects over here, your calendar, tasks that you're working on, how you're doing with bookkeeping and reporting. I have another video about HoneyBook versus QuickBooks. I kind of believe that unless you're accepting 100% of your payments through one of these systems, neither of them is a great substitute for a real accounting software like Wave or QuickBooks. So I wouldn't recommend uh, working on that. Although I would say that there are some helpful reports in HoneyBook that I find a little bit more helpful than the Dubsado ones talking about like where your leads came from, um, which leads are more valuable coming from where, uh, just some things like how long it's taking uh, to book and what your conversion rate is. So I think the reporting in HoneyBook is a little bit better, but neither of them I think is a standalone accounting software. So if you go into your projects, you also have these buckets up here. You can customize, you can't delete certain ones because those are attached to uh, kind of where they're at in the automatic pipeline that you create with HoneyBook, like the retainer being paid or if it's completed or if the proposal signed kind of thing, but you can add and move stages around uh, to fit your process. One thing that's cool about HoneyBook is you can work with other creators. This is a project with a different creator and they added me to it in HoneyBook. I also have some things like from my own wedding here in HoneyBook as well. So other people can add you to projects that you're working on and you can collaborate with them and share forms and that kind of thing. If that's something you're doing a lot in your business, that's going to be a really big plus for HoneyBook. Similarly, they do have the templates library where there are questionnaires, emails, packages, contact forms, etc., that you can edit. And then up in tools, you'll see all the other things that they have, automations, the calendar view, like we talked about, very similar to Dubsado here, um, scheduling task, time tracker, reporting, profit and loss, etc. At a basic level, HoneyBook is only available in the US and Canada right now, whereas Dubsado is going to be available anywhere you can accept their payment methods. So they are connected to Stripe, Square, PayPal, or you can also use um, ACH payments. HoneyBook is its own payment processor, which is freeing a little bit. You don't have to be connected to one of those platforms. You can do it all through HoneyBook. However, um, it's only available in US and Canada, whereas Dubsado is available anywhere in the world as long as you can connect with one of these payment methods. HoneyBook does have a QuickBooks integration that can help you if you are using QuickBooks already and you wanna pull all these payments in there. Dubsado has a few integrations as well. So they also integrate with QuickBooks, Xero, um, there's a conferencing platform, and then Zapier, there's a lot of zaps you can do with Dubsado as well. 
Zapier also has integrations with HoneyBook as well. They're just done on the Zapier side, not on the HoneyBook side. So if you use any of those, you can use them with both Dubsado and HoneyBook. Both platforms have wonderful customer service. You can always ask them questions down here. Same thing down here. They're very good at responding. And both of them have Facebook groups that you can join to ask questions that are a little bit more complicated or if you want to get opinions from other users. HoneyBook does have a mobile app that's available to you. So if you want to work on the go a lot, that's really important to you. Definitely check out the HoneyBook app. Dubsado has mentioned potentially doing an app in the future, but it's not really on their direct roadmap at this time. It is mostly mobile friendly if you want to use the website, uh, but it's not as friendly as an app. So if that's something that's really important and you work on the go a lot, definitely uh, HoneyBook is going to be your preference. One more kind of random thing about HoneyBook is if you do use Gmail, then this HoneyBook Chrome extension is really, really wonderful. I have a whole nother video on it. So if you use Gmail for your business, you can kind of bring HoneyBook into your inbox, which is really helpful. You can't do that with Dubsado um, and you can't do that with like Outlook on HoneyBook either. So it only applies if you use G Suite for your business email. But honestly, that Chrome extension is kind of a game changer. And if I did use G Suite, it might it might stick me with HoneyBook forever. It's really, really cool. Check out that video if you do use G Suite and you're interested in HoneyBook. Another pro for HoneyBook is that you can upload a group, a lot of clients at once. So if you have a spreadsheet of clients, if you have a ton of clients, you can do a little bit more in HoneyBook with that. You can also send out batch emails. I wouldn't say this would replace an email marketing software, but if you need to send out batch emails for a reason, you can do that here. You can upload um, a large number of past projects, etc. With Dubsado, there's no way to upload multiple projects at once. You have to kind of add them one by one or have them added uh, from the client by like a lead capture form on your website. So if you're working with tons and tons of clients, um, I would recommend HoneyBook. If you're doing very, very transactional orders though, you probably want a project man management software as opposed to a client management software. An area where Dubsado does prevail is when it comes to automated workflows. Um, HoneyBook has been doing some improvements in this area and it's definitely less of a difference than it used to be, but Dubsado does have some really great workflows in here. So I'm just gonna head into this one. So I'm going to head into this one and show you what that looks like. So all the different actions you can have Dubsado do without you having to do a single thing are listed here. So you can change the status, add tags, send an email or form. Those are really popular. Um, sending invoices and contracts, activating and deactivating the portal. And then these are kind of like meta within the workflow. So you can pause the workflow or hold the actions until the client takes an action or you take an action, which is really great. You can also use a workflow to start a different workflow. Um, so those are really helpful. And then when you do that, you can see all the different triggers. So this can be after the workflow started, before or after the project, the start date and end date. Um, you can wait till a form is completed. So if the client fills out this form, then it automatically sends them a thank you email or activates their portal or sends them the contract or whatever it is. Um, and then again, they have a couple like meta actions, like after all previous actions complete or after a form is not completed, which is helpful. So you can send a reminder if they don't send it, fill in their questionnaire. Three days later, you can have it automatically send that reminder if they haven't filled out the form. Of all the systems that I've tested outside of these two even, Dubsado has the best workflow capabilities. However, I will say that workflows are a little bit more advanced and you might not be there in your business yet, especially if you're just using a client management software for the first time. So HoneyBooks does have a lot of the more basic things that you might need to do in the workflow section. So when we're talking about automations, the actions that you can do here are sending an email, creating a task, sending a file, or sending a smart file. And then within smart files, this is something that's new with HoneyBook and allows for the automations to be a lot more robust. You used to only be able to send the forms, but the new files are really unique because they can include things like contracts, proposals, questionnaires, all these kind of things together. So when you send one of those automatically, it's the same as being able to send an invoice or a proposal or a contract, um, just sending it through a smart file. Here's an example of a smart file that I use, which is a wedding invitation proof form. This used to be a big differentiator between Dubsado and HoneyBook because HoneyBook didn't have a way for you to sign off on a form. And I need a proof approval for all of my clients. 
So when that wasn't an option, it was a little harder. There were kind of workarounds, but they weren't as legally blinding and they weren't as clear to the client um, that they were like a serious sign off proof approval. Now that you can add a contract block in a smart file, it's really easy. So what I've done here is you can customize all the colors, all of the layout of this. You can put these pictures in it. You can do all this kind of stuff. So this is page one and it has like our full mock-up and then each page has an individual proof with some questions about that specific page, which really helps me guide my clients through the process. And then on page six, what we have is an actual submission here. So this is like an actual contract block that people can sign. So when you're thinking about the automation, Stubsado does have more actions and more triggers, but with Smart Files, Honeybook kind of groups together a lot of the different things that are in there. So you can, by being able to automate sending a Smart File, uh, you can actually automate sending a contract or a proof or an invoice, a proposal, a lot of different things that you used to not be able to do. So as an example here in Dubsado, what I would use is just this subagreement to do my design proofs here. And it's very similar in that we can add photos. I could add the different proof options here, same questions exactly, and then have a signature field here for them to fill out. One of the pros that I gave to Dubsado in the previous video was that every form has the same options to it. So on every form you have container, text box, images, all these things that you can do and it doesn't matter what type of form it is. So here's what an invitation proof looks like in Dubsado. It's very similar, it's just all kind of one page instead of multiple pages. Um, so you can put, you can change out the images, you have these close-ups, I can ask these same questions at the bottom and then I can get a legally binding signature here at the bottom. So very similar, just more in one page than in multiple different pages. And every single form, whether it's a subagreement, which is what this is, a regular contract, a questionnaire, a proposal, or a lead capture will all have those exact same options for each form. That used to not be the case in HoneyBook. Each form had like different options, which was kind of confusing. You couldn't add photos on every type of form. But now that they've introduced smart files and grouped most of their forms together, everything can be done with everything. You can mix an invoice and a contract or a questionnaire or services guide or a scheduler. You can put photos on all of those things. You can put contract fields in with questionnaire fields. Um, all of the things that you used to not be able to do on every form can be done on every single type of form now, which is really helpful. Since that previous video, um, Dosado has changed their form builder. So they have the new form builder, which is on the left instead of the right. And it's got a few more options. The main one that I use is that you can specifically just click into a field and then edit it in line, as opposed to having to like open up this box and edit it on a different box that opens every time you click on each individual container. Truthfully, in the last three years since I made that video, Dubsado hasn't added any major huge features. Whereas HoneyBook has added the smart files, which brings it more on par with Dubsado. Everything is more customizable. Everything is more uh, user friendly. Everything is a little bit more automation friendly as well. So I think that these two are more neck and neck than they were three years ago. And it's really going to depend on the specific features that you're looking for and the specific interface that you like better. Dubsado's free trial is going to last for three clients. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to work with those three clients. You have it free as long as you need. And then HoneyBooks lasts for seven days. So I do like Dubsado's free trial better. Uh, but the key here is that with both of these systems, building out all of your forms and contracts and things, once you do that, that's all the hard stuff up front. And then once it's in there, you can actually sit back and let those systems work for you. So for that reason, I think it just requires kind of playing around, choosing one whose interface you really like and diving into it completely before you'll see all of those benefits that come from building out those questionnaires and contracts in the system. All right, so let me know where you land, which of these systems you're gonna try out. The fight between Dubsado and HoneyBook <laughs> will continue. Let me know what questions you have about either of these systems and I'd be happy to point you to some other videos or film some new videos on features that I haven't covered yet. I love both these systems and I think they work for uh, different types of people depending on exactly what you need in your business. So while you're here, please like, subscribe, um, check out the discount codes in the description for either of these before you try them out, just so that you can get them a little bit cheaper. And I hope you enjoy setting up your first client management system. Thanks everybody.